Well, hello again. Um, Kev, Leeds Harmonica, still here. Um, so, I've been working my way through, as I mentioned a couple of videos ago, um, Little Walter's Quarter to Twelve. And one of the things that has become very apparent as I'm doing that is that it is astonishing how much mileage Walter gets from a single lick. Right in the first verse, he plays a lick and almost every other lick in the song is some variation of that. Sometimes very close, sometimes quite far. Honestly, excuse me, 70% plus easily. Um, and it's amazing to think about the mind of a harmonica player who has this theme and he is just playing it and varying it and tearing it apart and trying to make it do different things for him. And that really is the is the idea behind all, all of the playing that I do um, on, on this series of videos because I'm just playing a lick and then messing about with it and seeing seeing what it'll do for me, seeing how far I can stretch it and so forth. Um, but that is a, a, a really good... Um, it's one of the things about blues that is so cool and it's a philosophical thing and it runs through all of blues music regardless of instrument and it's doing a lot with a little. Um, you don't need much to make an impact. Um, if you think back in the day, people's first guitar used to be, they'd just nail a couple of hooks onto a door frame outside the house, stick a bit of wire between it and you can plink and plunk up there. Um, you'll hear uh, or you'll find if you look that people like Muddy Waters, Howlin' Wolf did that. Um, loads and loads of people. And it's just making do with what you've got and taking what you've got and just wringing everything that you can out of it. And that's what Little Walter's doing on uh, court 12 and it's very that concept of taking one thing and making it do a lot for you is is really interesting and it's incredibly powerful and it's a very very bluesy thing to do if you think about blues i mean you're dealing with for a large part, you're dealing with the same chord progression. I mean, it's basically the same song, right? A 12-bar blues is a 12-bar blues. And it's what you do with that within the confines of the structure that you're working in, the notes you have available, the instrument you're playing. How do you express yourself within those limitations? And it's that that defines the personality of a player really so that's quite philosophical but um it's a really good and very important concept to keep in mind when you're playing blues so um to sort of push that idea as much as i can what i've done is i've come up with a lick that is very very simple it's all single notes. I'm not embellishing it in any way. And what I'm going to try and do is play this simple lick. No bending, no double stops, no pulls, no fancy blues stuff. And just see how I can make a... How interesting I can make it. Just by playing single notes on the harmonica. Um... Hopefully it'll be interesting and uh, illuminative. Is that a word? Illuminative? Whatever. I hope you enjoy.
Righto then, I've got a C harmonica, the backing track which I will link in the descriptions, another excellent one from MCCD sessions, the nice uh, swing blues in G today, playing in second position. The lick is... Single notes, and it is six blow, five blow, four draw, five blow, four draw. We play that twice, and then we finish just on the two draw. Um, if you are brand new to um, playing and you're still struggling with the two draw, which is very common, you can use three blow instead if you prefer. It's the same note. So. And that's all there is to it. I'm going to try to not do any bending. I'm going to try to only play single notes. I'm going to try to avoid, but I almost certainly won't, uh, slapping. It's really, it takes so much brain power for me to turn off my uh, instinctive slap that I often, uh, I often forget it. But let's see um, if I can make something that sounds interesting, bluesy. Uh, like I say, good swing blues here. So, let's go. I'm messing about with it now. Oof, that was a bum lick in there. Didn't sound great. Cut some out. very quietly now.
taken me so much brain power not to resort to uh, just doing what I always do, which is bending, double stops. I haven't even put any tremolo in, so I'm trying to do as much as I can with this very simple idea. really fun actually I enjoyed that I kept hitting the uh, the five draw which doesn't sound great this is a very major sounding track um, kind of kind of didn't fit in there too well I'd have to use that more carefully but there you go I mean for just playing single notes could have been a lot worse um, we'll see you next time bye